Should League of Legends implement voice comms? Should they add voice comms to ranked matches? Let's talk about it. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Miss Kim Kim, and today we're going to be talking about should League of Legends add voice comms for the entire team, even if it's not a pre-made in ranked. Now, I know League of Legends has already kind of sort of implemented this into their uh, higher ELO games. They have the Champions Q. So Champions Q is invite based only and it's like a ranked game, but you're competing for like money and stuff. They have voice comms, even though they didn't queue up together. But do we think that League of Legends should invite that over into regular ranked games? Go ahead and let me know down in the comments before we even get into the thickness of the video. Do you think that League of Legends should add voice comms? If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I noticed about 50% of the people that watch my videos are not even subscribed. And if you're gonna keep coming back, you might as well support the channel, babes. Subscribe. All right, let's get into the thick of it. So for the first part, we kind of have to acknowledge that other games already have voice comms. There's Valorant, there's Fortnite, there's Call of Duty, Modern Welfare, Warfare. I don't know, I don't play COD. But yeah, there's a bunch of other games that already have voice comms. And a lot of these games are considered toxic, but we'll get to that in a little bit. With all of these other games already having it, why is league waiting so long to implement it into this game why is it taking so long or why haven't we already implemented voice comms into league of legends now i need y'all to tell me if i'm toxic for even wanting this i know cod has death comms and y'all i think that would be so much fun tell me if i'm toxic but me as the adc jungler just tried to run a 3v2 in the bot lane tower dive me and i kill everybody you telling me that i don't get to like i want to talk my stuff oh my gosh that would be so much fun they just tried to tower dive me and i'm over here yeah and don't try that again no and i'm gonna do it every time like can you imagine me having that five seconds to like just communicate to the enemy team like yeah that girl is that not so much fun i think that would add a whole nother element to league of legends am i toxic for that is that toxic am i toxic what if there's proximity chat kind of like among us is that fun i think that would be fun too where when uh bot laners come to you know they meet up in bot lane and they're like oh what's up zaya yeah them feathers looking mighty dusty today i don't know i feel like that would just okay that's a lot of trash talk am i talk i'm the problem i'm the problem am i the problem i think it would just add a whole another element more depth to league of legends so the pros i feel like are really obvious for this type of idea you obviously amongst your team are going to have stronger communication so the jungler is going to be able to comment more on their ganks they're going to be able to comment more on oh i'm going to be here at this time and the laners can be a little bit more responsive i also think that this would provide quicker and easier comms. So rather than as I'm pathing top, I have to start typing and can possibly be running into somebody or I start typing and I run into the enemy jungler and I'm trying to press Q, but since I was typing, I can't Q. Instead, I'm typing Q, 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 Q. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that is an element that would be eliminated and would allow for quicker and easier comms. Less mistakes would be made because all you have to do is verbally say it. And because of this, I think you'd be able to get plays off better. You'd be able to get that gank off easier. You'd be able to get that objective easier. Like instead of typing or pinging or something, like it would just be easier, no? And yes, I understand that you can communicate with pings. But sometimes pings can be misinterpreted. Sometimes pings are pinged incorrectly. It would be so much easier. For example, sometimes when first blood is made or if there's a little scruffle going on, 
you might ping the wrong flash because you thought misfortune flash but in reality it was their jungler i don't know like there's so many possibilities there's so much room for human error that voice comms could kind of clear up those muddy waters did i miss a pro of adding league of legends voice comms let me know down in the comments but now let's get into cons adding voice comms would obviously add another way to harass people already you have spamming pings you have typing in chat and it's possible that this would be another way for people to harass their teammates or the enemy team if like proximity or death comms were added into the game and i do think that league of legends has a long way into perfecting the way that they handle racism transphobia homophobia and so many other elements of hateful comments i do think they have a long way to go when it comes to that type of stuff in terms of filtering text i know it would be so much harder to filter voice comms the only way i guess would be to have every game recorded i know it's probably larger than what i could even think of i do understand that there is that fear of more toxicity the homophobia the racism the transphobia and it's sad and those people are evil, vile, and disgusting. Like, it's it's obvious. I want to do a video on how to handle those types of things in League of Legends. The fact is, it shouldn't even be present. But since it is, it needs to be handled. And I definitely think there's a long way before that gets handled. But they have their other game, Valorant. And I know sexism, racism, transphobia, all of that. I know all of that is present in Valorant. I don't even play the game. And I hear so often about how people are coming for girls or coming for the LGBTQ plus community. And it's all disgusting. It's all vile. It's all repulsive. But are we willing to make that sacrifice until League of Legends is ready to really start reprimanding these people do we want to bring that extra element to league of legends and like i said it's another way to harass people people are going to be ignoring your gameplay and as soon as you talk in that voice calm in league they're gonna start judging you by your voice they hear you're a girl or they make the assumption that you're a part of the lgbtq plus community or something of that sort they just start spewing out slurs or saying like oh you're a girl like guys we lost gg like i can't tell you how many times i get that just based off my name or if i link my stream and yes i am a strong girl like I'm sorry if you do not affect my bank account directly or my physical health, you cannot affect my mental health. I do apologize, but <laughs> it's giving irrelevant. But the fact is it shouldn't even exist. There needs to be a strong way to deal with that. Another thing is some people just don't want to join the voice comms. And I get that. Like there's some nights where I just don't feel like talking or maybe after stream i just want to sit turn on my music and just play league of legends and not have to actively be engaging in conversation that's totally fair i think that should always be a choice like you should always be able to mute your mic obviously or you should always be able to make that decision of oh i'm going to join or oh i'm not going to join and that person has to know that technically they're putting their team at a disadvantage but that's completely and ultimately up to them those were just some of the thoughts that i came up with let me know down in the comments do you think league of legends should add voice comms or should they not add voice comms and let me know the reason why thank you guys so much for watching and please do remember to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like the video it definitely does help and don't forget that I stream every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at twitch.tv slash misschimchim. You can follow me on all of my socials and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching and bye bye.